All right, I need to do an idle drop on this carb after uh, putting it back together. You're going to start the bike up, get it warm, probably take it out and ride it for 15 or 20 minutes, come back, and you want to do it standing as straight up as possible. bike stand straight up. I don't know if you ever notice sometimes when your bike's idling and you're leaning on the kickstand, the idle changes slightly on some bikes, depending on where you're parked at and how far over it's sitting. Uh, you may or may not have to pull the air cleaner backing plate off, depending on your carb. If you can get to it. Now we started off this thing at three turns out, which is about average. But after you you know, that's a good starting point. After that, you're going to have to do an idle drop on it. And I'll go over the procedure. Basically, with the bike warm, you're going to take the, say it's turn, three turns out. You're going to turn it in until the idle picks up a little bit. Keep turning it in, noticing how many turns you're turning it in until it starts running bad. And then you're going to turn it back out for a high idle where it smooths out. And then you're going to keep turning it out until it starts rolling like crap again. And somewhere in between those two points is where you should be. Now, three turns, you might end up really at two turns. You might end up at three and a half turns. Who knows? You don't know until you run it. So let's fire this thing up. Cylinders, the way they compress the head gaskets aren't fully sealed when it's cold because the cylinders expand upwards, provide a better clamp load. So, these things really were popping head gaskets like crazy when they first started doing them like that. different head gasket materials and different base gasket materials. If you, you want to warm up good, a lot of times the guys will take it out and they'll rip the shit out of the cold and then they'll complain about the blowing head gaskets all the time. And that's why. So, when you start getting a little heat in the cylinders, you just stick your hand down on the rear jug, rear head, and you feel it getting warm. Up. I like to warm them up until you can't barely touch it. We got it nice and warm sitting up in the stand here where it's nice and level.
Uh, oiling system is marginal on these things at best to begin with, and uh, they crank the idle down to five or six hundred RPM because I think it sounds good where it's just barely running, and it'll hammer the shit out of the connecting rods and, and have almost no oil pressure at all, uh, and it ain't really charging great at five or six hundred RPM anyway, so we should be good there now. You're going to want to take it out and ride it. <clears throat> and if you get, say you get too many, too much popping on D-cell, or a little pop back through the carb on acceleration or just steady throttle there, you can turn the air fuel screw back out, you know, a quarter of a turn at a time or something like that, eighth or a quarter of a time to get rid of the pop. Now that's on this thing. This thing this thing's a one cylinder. So if you're doing a, a four cylinder carb or even a, something with dual carbs, same process applies. You're just going to do each carb to get it right. And it, uh, you want it around close to a thousand RPM. It can be 900, 925, 950, 975, somewhere close to a thousand now. You don't really want it over that too much. Now remember if uh, 
when you're doing these if uh, you have to turn the screw in so it's more than uh say say you had to turn it all the way in and it's still running uh your intermediate jet's just way way too damn big so you'd want to change that out say so this thing has a 45 in there i know because i put a 45 in it it probably came with a 42. I put a 45 in there. Same thing goes, they're exact opposite. If it, you have to turn it out more than four, four turns, uh, intermediate jet's too small. So say it had a 42 in there and I had to turn it out five turns to get it to run halfway decent. You'd want to go up to the next size up intermediate or pilot jet. Uh, and some sometimes you know this thing's got drag pipes on there, so it's pretty much given that it's going to at least need a 45. Because what happens a 42, even with the stock bike on these things, sometimes you get a 42 or the factory because they have to meet emissions that uh, it just doesn't run right. You know, it's always cold nature. You have to let it warm up for. And really, that's about it for this one. I got got other stuff to do here today, besides work on this thing. But uh, if you guys like my content, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, appreciate it. Thank you.